Cassie said, uh, when we are arguing, my boyfriend believes that it is okay for him to call me names and it's my fault that he gets mad and angry. Okay, yeah, I talked about this last time actually too. When someone treats you like it's your fault that they are angry, they are manipulating you. It's straight out of this book, Games People Play. It's a pattern of behavior that they use to manipulate people, whether they are conscious of it or not. Sometimes it's because of how they were raised. People in their family might have done that to them, so they learn that behavior. Um, it's not acceptable. Mm -hmm. I would say show this to them. Maybe look at the book, Games People Play. Look at, you can probably actually look, just go on ChatGPT and just ask, um, about the book games people play when they're blaming you for for making them mad because it's a specific type of game I don't exactly remember what it's called maybe I'll do more of a you know video yeah. on it so I can remember what it was but it's not okay it's not the okay line. it's not okay if you guys are arguing and he's coming at you for what like causing the argument it's, it's one thing that you said before it's like people argue for different reasons right mm -hmm. some people are arguing to try to mitigate the situation and some people are arguing just to argue and when you like you know get into name calling and getting that angry then there's no conversation anymore now you're just shouting at each other mm -hmm. and that's not your fault it, it's it's something that's happening inside him that's causing that you shouldn't take it seriously and you should ask him in those situations what is it that's making you get to that level you personally because it can't be you Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, you do also want to avoid like we all do have to be aware of how we're treating other people and what we're doing to instigate other people. And if you really feel like you're not doing much, sometimes what you need to do is talk to your partner about what specific things you say that triggers them, because we really don't all know. I think I've said it in the past, but like, yeah. for instance, it's so dumb. Like when I get on the phone with my mom, if I say what's up? She's like, why are you talking to me like that? For some reason, that yeah. triggers her. Not like she goes off on me or something. And her mom is like the nicest person. She's the, the nicest person, but it just makes her upset for some reason. So you just have to learn each other's, um, you have to learn each other's triggers. As stupid as it is. Yeah. Like me and her argue when we're setting up furniture. Yeah. And we know it's a trigger. Yeah. So like when we're setting up anything, not just furniture, when we're setting up anything, we're just like, oh, okay. Like, let's be really, get, this is getting tense. Yeah. No, I'll be, after we learned that, I started being really nice when I'm uh, like, uh -huh. I'm like, make sure you say this in the nicest way possible instead of talking to him like he's an idiot. Yeah, you're for, working on it. You're almost there. I'm almost there. You just sound condescending when you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you do too. Hey, you don't know how to set things up. Neva said, uh, she's so pretty. Oh, thank you. So last time he was like, oh, people were saying I'm beautiful. And I was like, I swear I'm shutting this whole thing down. Joshua said, um, beautifully said, thanks, guys. Bosma said, I just want to say thank you for existing. I really needed to hear all of these, especially right now. Oh, that's awesome. That's why, that's why you do it. I'm happy to exist, too. It's pretty good. <laughs> no, and thank you guys, by the way, because we really like doing this. So thank you guys for being here. Me and my recent partner reach a point where we can't have a peaceful conversation. It's just draining. Yeah, I think this is like similar to what you just talked about. It's, it's like definitely when there's I'm going to assume there's a lot of built up resentment there that has not been resolved. And you guys really need to sit separately and really think about all the things about the other person that you're still holding on to. Mm. And it can be something small. And sometimes it could just be that you guys have gotten into a pattern of speaking to each other, not in a nice way, because it's really easy to do. Like we yeah. were saying, you know, you'd be setting up furniture and it's just like, why did you put that there? It's easy to be that way and it immediately ruins all the romance. Things could have been great and just with that one phrase, just with that one little attitude, you could have potentially ruined the entire relationship if you don't know how to undo that. Yeah, for sure. If you don't apologize for talking in that way, it's going to build up and build up and build up. It's like dust in your relationship and if yeah. you don't clear it out, if the other person doesn't apologize if you're not apologizing to each other if you don't clear the air it's tough it's consistent work you know mm -hmm. i mean yeah I mean, look at the way she talks it's hard everyone says i'm so condescending because i'll say things like in these you know in the stuff that's in like uh tiktok and instagram and everything just look at the comments because i'm not saying anything so insane yeah. i'm really not but the way i say it triggering yeah they can't handle it they can't handle it he can handle it 
I can handle it. Because they're not even seeing the expression. That's the other thing. Because men cannot pick up on the body language. It's so they don't so much... see that I'm smiling. I'm saying I know that the way I'm saying it is slightly offensive. It's not even offensive. I feel like they just mm-hmm. can't stand hearing a woman speak yes. the way you do. Yes. And speak in a smart way. Because some of the comments are like, oh, yeah, this, who, who does she think she is? She's the smartest woman in the world. Why does she act like she knows everything? Like, all right, relax, bro. I guess that's another thing. But yeah, anyway, you you just really have to get down to it with your partner and find out all, especially if it's a man, getting them to tell you what they have been resentful of. Yeah. Pulling teeth. You have to literally tell them, take a week and really think about all the things that you're upset about and you're not saying because they never say it. Elizabeth said, my ex broke up with me after 11 years and my son and I are so heartbroken and going through it. That's terrible. That is terrible. Honestly, I think like like I always say, you gotta meditate. You have to because that's the only thing that makes anything that's bad yeah. not even matter anymore. Yeah. Because your happiness has nothing to do with the external at all. It is literally just a biological experience. It's just hormones. So once you're able to detach from the thoughts that are going on about the situation, you're just going to feel happy. You're going to feel better, yeah. And the reason I ask your son's age is because I've had patients in the past meditate with their kids. Um, a lot of times because their kid, they can't get alone time and they say, oh, you know, my kid's too young. But the kid is old enough to meditate and it's really good to put your kid onto that early, especially, you know, the kid is going through it. This is a really good time for them to learn how to manage their emotions and to li- and to kind of listen to their thoughts right because especially in these like very troubling situations you have a lot of negative self-talk that's going on that you're probably not even aware of you know and what what that's going to do what the meditation is going to do is just help you see that help you identify that and then also kind of like work your way through it because right now it's just a jumbled mess that's constant yeah because you might be thinking it's my fault that he left Um, or I'm never going to be happy again, things like that. You need to be aware if you are talking to yourself like that, and your child needs to be aware if they're talking to themselves that way. Um, One thing like my mom had said to me in the past is talk to yourself the way that you would talk to your child. So that might be a really good way for you to look at it because you have a kid who's going through exactly what you are going through. So what would you say to them to make them feel better? You should be talking to yourself in the Mm -hmm. same way. For sure. What do you think about a couple working together? A couple working together, kind of like we were talking about with building furniture, it can be bad if you do not know how to communicate with each other in a really nice and respectful way. There's so many opportunities for you guys to be nasty to each other because- Like the same job she's saying. So- Yeah. Yeah. Go on. What? This happened to me one time, so I know the answer to this. I would never do it. (laughs) I almost got- like it was like one of my first jobs and I met the girl at the job and she decides that when we broke up, she decided she's going to quit and try to take me down with her. And she just walked around just literally yelling in the office. It was wild. Yeah, but, that's um, not great. I had a situation where I was working with my boyfriend and nobody knew. So the girls would always be flirting with him and I would be livid the entire time, but I couldn't say anything. So that was the worst situation. Um, And then we would try and go on vacation at the same time. We both got fired because of it. Oh no, I just got fired because of it. If you can't avoid it, just learn how to talk to each other nicely. 